Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. We're gonna take a look at a brand new style by Gabor today. This is Gimme Drama, and the color on this one is Shaded Hazelnut 829 SS. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start look, taking a look at Gimme Drama. What a name. <laughs> really cute. So uh, Gimme Drama is a cute little, kind of a dramatic style, a short style, lots of curl, lots of layering. Um, so she does have a bang layer here in the front. I had to kind of swoop it over to the side because it's a bit long and it was in my face and it was given a little drama. So I had to kind of push it over to the side. So that you know, bang layer, you could definitely shorten a little bit if you want to. These are the true to life heat friendly fibers, just like their Raquel Welch line. So you can use heat on these as well. So I will do a turn so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specs. So here we are from the front, my left, the back, my right, and back to the front. Okay, so she is a left mono part with a lace front. Lace front looks really, really nice. Extended lace front, I believe. Yes, extended temple to temple. So your lace front is gonna extend down to here, which is nice. And then we have a left mono part. Opened very easily on this wig, which I really like. Show you the ear tabs. So ear tabs, I have great coverage. A little hair under my ear there. Actually, these, you know, these, these are fitting kind of small. So you'll notice I am petite. So I'm 11 ear to ear, and I have space, um, you know, a little space where my finger fits before it gets to my ear, which is fine with me. You know, I like having that extra space. But just note that if you have more bio here, hair here than I do, then you're gonna wanna make sure that your color blends in with your hair because it's probably gonna show more there. The way the style lays, it doesn't show, but I'm always concerned about stuff like the wind blows or whatever, you're wearing the wig outside and at, at an event or whatever, you know. So, um, but so fitting me, nice ear to ear, forehead to nape, This it definitely fits like an average. There's definitely extra room, but I did not have to bring in the adjusters for my 21 inch circumference. So I feel like these are, fitting average to just over average. And for my petite headed friends, they will fit too. So, okay, so measurements, we have 5.5 here in the front. We have a seven inch layer at the crown. We have 5.5 inch sides. We have a 6.25 inch measurement in the back. And the nape is 4.5 inches. Weight wise, she's coming in at 3.06 ounces, so really, really lightweight. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. Okay, here's the cap construction for Gimme Drama. So she has a left mono part. It goes almost all the way back to the crown, which is really, really nice. It gives you a very nice natural looking parting space. There's just closed lace here and I'm not feeling permatease in this wig. I even, even down here at the edge, maybe a little bit along um, the nape here but in the wig itself, I'm not really feeling it. So if it's there, it's just a little tiny bit that's right where the hair is attached to the weft. The volume that you're seeing is coming from the curl. So here's your extended temple to temple lace front. That's really, really nice. And I like the way they were able to extend that, but then they still have great coverage on the ear tabs. Looks really, really nice. So that just gives you that true appearance like that hair is growing right out of your scalp, which is what we're looking for. She has the soft felt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal that keeps that flush against your face. An open wefted cap, a soft extended nape with Velcro adjusters. There is stretch in the cap and there's stretch in the circumference as well. Okay, we can take a look at this beautiful color. So this is shaded hazelnut, the 829 SS, same color that you'll find in the Raquel Welch line because these are the true to life. Uh, heat friendly fiber colors, just like the Raquel Welch colors. So this is one of my favorite brunettes. It's so warm, it's so pretty. So the description for Shaded Hazelnut is a warm medium brown and auburn base with coppery highlights and medium brown roots. Coppery is an excellent 
description for that highlight. It just looks like copper. Then there is some rooting, but it's not super, um, it's just a tad bit darker as you can see from the medium brown that's in the color. So it's not a super dark, you know, uh, super different color. And you can see that rooting anywhere you separate the hair. Those highlights are just gorgeous. Love that coppery highlight. Okay, here we are under my patio cover. So covered light on this shaded hazelnut. You can see that beautiful highlight. You can see that rooting color. There's your lace front in this light. in the shade then I'll step into the Sun as well you can see your gorgeous copper beautiful dimension there's your lace front step into the Sun here I've got to tuck behind the ears just so you can see the ear tabs and you can see where the glasses go. But um, I don't know that she's the most ear tuckable style. I guess she works okay. I want to have her tucked also for when we look at a headband. So, so you can see the glasses go on very easily. Um, you know, they're nice and thin. You can put the glasses up on your head. I would definitely tuck the hair with the bulk of the curl and everything. Tuck the hair first, and you're gonna have this bang layer to deal with. Like I said, this bang layer either needs to be trimmed or it needs the hot air brush or the flat iron or curling iron or something to go to it. You know, I don't like to do a lot to these wigs. I like to show them to you pretty much straight out of the box so you know what to expect when you get the wig. But I will tell you sometimes when I, you know, see things that are gonna need some help. So let's see if our bang layer, I think if we push it back, we can get it in our headband because it is five and a half inches. So smoothing the hair back like this is also one way that you could wear it. You know, you could change the style. And again, you might have to use a little heat to get it to, you know, lay right and everything. So but let's see here. We can't get all of that back. Yes, I think we can. Okay, so we can get that. There's a few little flyaways, but we can get that bang layer back. Then you could kind of fluff up around it. Pull this part down a little, get it to calm down a bit. That's cute. So that's one way to get that bang out of your face if you don't want to trim it. And then if you if you want to, you can pull some of that down, of course. And remember, you can, like I said, you can use your heat tool so you can curl it. It I think the more you just work with it and train it, it's gonna get better and better. Just remember, this is fresh out of the box. So you're gonna have those little box hair issues and stuff in my reviews because I don't go through and alter and you know super style these wigs. I want you to see what they look like, you know, straight out of the box. So, okay, so you could also just stick your headband in, of course, or a scarf or whatever. Um, she does not have the length to go like half up, half down, like pull back all the way in a clip. She's almost there, but not quite. I think the hair is going to fall out. So you could just take, you know, a bobby pin type clip and clip it right behind the ear. And that would be cute. You could do one side or do both sides. I also, with this little front part, when I was taking pictures of her, I was like, I'm just going to take a little picture of getting that part out of the way. And so I just stuck this cute little clip in it. So that's another thing you can do if that front part is bothersome. Also clipping them back like this will also help to train those fibers. So, and I think she actually looks really, really cute like that. So with all the curl behind it, I just think that looks really sweet. So I wanna thank Pinky Promise for sending this week to review for you all today. There will be purchase information in the drop down box down below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.